Hello, I'm John Thornton. On behalf of Automotive Seminars, I'd like to welcome you to this training program titled Diagnosing Fuel-Related Drivability Problems with Scan Data. In this program, we are going to discuss a variety of topics as they relate to fuel system diagnostics. We will start out by verifying the input. If you think about typical fuel trim diagnostics, whether you have positive trims or negative trims, the PCM is relying upon an oxygen sensor or an air fuel sensor to make this determination. So before we get too deep in a fuel trim diagnostics, it is important to make sure that we can trust those inputs. I have two case studies in this section that will discuss how to verify that we can trust those inputs. After that, we'll move to fuel delivery testing. You know, the typical fuel delivery test is fuel pressure. And of course, fuel pressure testing is still very, very important. But as you know, to properly check fuel pressure, it must be done under load, which means we have to have air mass moving through this engine. Checking fuel pressure at idle with three, four, five, six grams of air mass really does not put a load on the fuel system. So typically, in order to adequately check fuel pressure, we need to drive the vehicle. Sometimes driving the vehicle may not be an option might be very difficult to connect the gauge to this particular engine. Uh, traffic, weather conditions don't allow for it. The type of vehicle doesn't allow for it. So if pressure is difficult to perform, we can then move to fuel volume. So really I will be talking about checking fuel volume in lieu of checking pressure under load. After that, we'll start to take a look at some fuel trim related issues. I have a Ford Expedition that is lean and we'll spend a little bit of time with this vehicle going through a wide variety of tests to kind of pinpoint what the concern is. After that, we'll take a look at a town car that is also lean, but lean for what I would consider to be a not too common issue. And this allows me to talk about some additional tests. After we go through those two vehicles that are, have lean concerns, then I have a E250 that is rich. So we'll spend a little time adding more tests to our diagnosis. Then we'll move to a vehicle that has an imbalance in fuel trims. And when I say an imbalance in fuel trims, one side of the engine on this V engine has positive trims, but the other side has negative trims. And there can be a couple of reasons for this to occur. So we'll, we'll explore how that is uh, diagnosed and what it means to us. After that, our final discussion topic will be on a 2011 Regal with gasoline direct injection that has a high pressure pump control concern. So that is the plan for this particular training program.